Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to Energy First Golf. Energy First Impact Later. Today in this video, this is the last of the four videos when we're dealing with hilly situations. And today we're going to talk about the ball that's below me. As you can see right now, I'm in a situation right here. It's pretty hilly. Okay, and my direction of target is going that way. So you can see right now, there's a pretty steep hill right here. Okay, so I literally have to stand like this, so that way I don't fall this way. All right, so now, how do we handle this type of situation? Again, just like every other condition, you know, uphill line, downhill line, ball above my feet. The number one thing is obviously you have to work on um, balance, okay? So balance means right now, if I'm setting right here, this is my intended ball, okay? I'm gonna move those ball away. If this is my intended ball right now, when I set up to it, okay? Because the situation, obviously, my body weight is going to be on my heels. Absolutely. There's no way I'm going to feel my body weight in the middle of my shoes or in my toes. Okay. So you can see that's the number one thing. So you're going to bend a lot lower. Now you can see you definitely don't want to get very close to the ball. You got to create more room. So based on this posture right now, depending on the distance, you most definitely will club up so right now I have a five iron but if this is a six iron distance or you know even a seven iron distance I'm definitely going to club up I may even use a four iron okay this is so important club up just also means I'm getting a longer length of club as you can see okay so also I have a six iron here right now Okay, so I feel a little bit more comfortable based on this situation, this distance, and I want to feel like I create more room, so that way when I swing, you can see if I swing through, I'm also creating a, what I call the knee-to-knee -knee kind of thing, right, weight transfer, okay, so I'm also going to put the camera below me, and you will see my body movement, okay? So, the club selection, the balance point, it is extremely important. And also, when your ball is in this situation, the tendency is absolutely going to go to the right, going to right of the target. So you will absolutely aim left. Now, just personally, when I have the ball that's below me, I try not to mess with the release that much, okay? Because the natural tendency of the ball is going to go to the right. It's almost 99%, meaning if I just swing, it will go to the right. And in this situation, I don't like to mess with what I call the rip spin or block. I just know if I swing without any type of manipulation of my hands or release, it will go to the right. And also, obviously, if I don't have any type of manipulation of the hands release, it's gonna be a, it's going to be a block spin. Okay? It's going to be a block spin in this situation. Okay? So be very careful. So always play it a little bit left of the target. Allow the slope the tendency of the ball go to the right. Now, obviously, your five situation is not as steep as this. Of course, I may deal with a little bit of different release. But in this situation, I'm going to keep things a little bit simple. And also, just bear in mind, really, all of the situation we talked about, the degree of slope is going to vary. So if you have a, a, a very steep slope, everything that's steeper, Obviously, the tendency of the ball, based on all the tendency, right or left, it's going to be stronger. So, but in this situation, like I say, I don't like to mess with release in this particular situation. 
Obviously, if it's not as steep, I maybe. But the idea is that the ball will go to the right. All right. So really, and also, I also personally believe this is for me the the easiest lie to handle. All I gotta do is hand back, okay, and then all I gotta do is turn my body and swing. Okay, and the ball actually go way right. But also, I do believe this situation is probably the easiest out of all the lies. Now, obviously, you are not going to get the most distant out of it. Okay, unless you club up, you know, maybe go to four iron. Just depending on the distance. So clubbing up is always going to be the most important thing. And also... You don't have to check the entry. A lot of times, with this situation, with the correct length of the club, with your knees being what I call the knee to knee, you're going to get a pretty smooth swing if you apply the correct downswing sequence. Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching this video. We now have a personal swing analysis, and also we offer personal instructional video. We have our own golf gloves, belts, shirts, hats, and bucket hats. If you're interested, click, please click on the Shopify link below. And don't forget to click like and subscribe to our channel. And please continue watching this video. Okay, so right now I have the camera setting down here. And you can see I'm going to put the sleep, uh, steep uh, hill. So I just want to show you the front view, what kind of action we're dealing with. Okay, so now... My body weighs in the back. I have a longer club. I have a five iron. And the truth is, in this situation, from this view, I like to put the ball a little bit in the middle of the stance. Now, you can also put the ball in the regular um, position. That's a completely okay. I wouldn't recommend you put the ball that's right of the center line. Okay, so I like to put it in the middle of the center line. And I'm going to aim left because the bomb is going to go to the right so i'm still doing the rotation loading and coiling energy first and then i'm going to swing with my knees obviously you don't want to extend right so let's do this one time okay you can see now i didn't do a very hard swing it's just a more of a movement and do it one more time Okay, same thing, rotation, weight transfer, okay, we'll do it one more time, okay, rotation, weight transfer, okay, again, don't expect the results to be very sort of ideal, but this situation, you want to think about advancing the ball so this is how you handle this type of situation all right so um thank you for watching if you guys have any questions leave a comment click like and subscribe to our channel by click on this button right here and also we have two recommended video if you want to know more about energy first impact later and i will see you next time